Hi guys! Um, this is going to be a video of me showing you how I volumize my hair. Um, it's really easy, really quick. Um, I can't really remember like how I know how to do this. It must have been like from watching a program or something. But this is how I volumize my hair. I really don't have thick hair. Like it's really really thin. I use um, a thickening um, shampoo and conditioner sometimes and the product that I feel like I now can't live without is this the Bumble and Bumble thickening spray. I'm really sorry my nose chipped. Um, I've been using this since I had my hair cut and I feel like I have a different head of hair now. Um, I think obviously it helped having my hair cut because it was really split so that's made it a lot more healthier but I really do feel like this this works um, it's quite expensive it was 21 pounds but you get a really big bottle and as you can see um, but you can't really see like I've used up to there so far and I've had this two three weeks now so this is going to last you a good few months and um i really like it i spray quite a lot of it in my hair maybe six like spritz in my hair and it does give my hair like this kind of weird feeling of um i think i probably sp spray a bit too much in but it kind of like feels as if it's not completely clean and I don't mind that feeling because I can feel like I can work with my hair more and like it's not so fluffy and not so like it's just been washed because I hate my hair when it's just been washed because it's all fluffy and like the second I go outside if there's any sort of damp in the air it just goes and yeah it's just not very good so I really recommend this and this is what I use um, also for this video you're going to need a hair dryer Mine's an old one, it's Remington, I've had it for ages. Um, most importantly, important, have I said that word? Oh, whatever, you know what I mean. Gonna need a round brush. Um, this is a Denman one, and I'd really recommend this brush, it's really good. I've had quite a few um, of these sort of brushes, and I've had some really cheap ones before, but um, I think this one works really well because um, it like heats up and curls your hair more um, when you put hot air on it. So I'd really recommend this one. I think it was maybe six, six pounds. I can't really remember. I got it from Boots. And you're also going to need some hairspray. This is just really cheap hairspray. Probably like one ninety nine or one pound. Um, but you can use any hairspray you want. Okay, I hope this works. I'm a bit worried that, yeah, I don't know that it's going to go wrong. But okay, how I start. Now, when you've washed your hair, when you dry your hair with um, the hair dryer first, dry your hair upside down. So just like, go like that and just dry it with the hair dryer. You have to do that step because then your hair's like... Phew, and you can work with it from them. I've already done my hair this morning, but I'm gonna re-show really you how I then like add thickness to it. So once you've done that, and once you you would have sprayed like some kind of thickening spray in it as well, um, when it's wet, um, I then spray a little bit more of this when it's dry. Um, only like one spritz. Like you really don't need a lot of this stuff. Um, I'd say probably maybe three three like pumps of it and that'll be fine I just get a bit carried away with it but um yeah so you then use this and I've got naturally curly hair so I then like straighten a few bits of it after I've dried it and then I do this so to begin with get your brush I'm gonna be doing this in the camera get a section of hair like whatever section you could always um, section your hair up like this which is what I'm gonna do to show you okay get a clip and 
and just clip a section using just one of these like so and then with your brush get just a piece of your hair and go like that like pull it upwards get the spray and just spray that part and then just blast it with the hairdryer and then that top bit too and as you can see it's instantly just puffed up obviously like fiddle with it after but like you can see from there it's like instantly just giving it like more volume sorry my hair is really tangly on the same the other side now I'll do exactly the same And as you can see like it's just instantly given like some body to your hair now obviously you then go around the other sections of your hair doing that but then for on top just brush my hair get a good section like this front section do exactly the same as what I showed you spray And then just like kind of sort it out a bit and you can see that that's just given like just life to your hair and then I'll just show you on the other side just so it's even Ooh. And then like for the back, just get a section of hair like that, pull it quite tightly, spray again. And there you go, instant volume. Now obviously you you do all the sections of your hair I've just done a few now and then to add even more like volume I then back comb my hair slightly now you might not want to do this step as it, it isn't very good for your hair but what I do is I just lightly just go like that and then like zhuzh it a little bit and then like the back bit I'll get that section up and just back home like underneath and you can see like you just get this like instant volume and it's so quick and easy and I've done I've like this is how I've reminded my hair for ages now so then once you've done all that just spray your hair with hairspray to fix it and voila so I hope this is helpful and um, if you've got any questions just leave them underneath and I hope like you will, you got how I did it and stuff. Um, I've done it like this for ages, it works really well, your hair will then stay like this for quite a long time because obviously you've sprayed it before you've then used the brush and the hair dryer. Um, if you've got curly hair like obviously straighten your hair a bit before and then do that. Um, so yeah, I hope you all like this and I hope this was helpful and um, I'll see you all soon. Bye!